Greetings. January the 14th, after Friday the 13th, Contraband Fan is here with Name That Fan Day. After a busy day of kicking black cats and walking under ladders and spilling paint and sticking things in toasters and making a total mockery of superstitious hogwash, I've got a beauty. The find of the season so far. Actually, the find of a couple of seasons because it took two years or more to get this thing. It had been in a building that was abandoned for years and years before I found it. Then I finally met up with the guy who bought the place. He told me I could have it, but it'd be a couple of weeks till he pulled it out. So that was over a year ago. Now I got it, and it's every bit the beauty I had anticipated it to be, including the eroded, well not eroded, the decrepit state of the wires which are being separated because they wrote a song about this very thing you gotta keep them separated of course you have otherwise you have a big zap and a blown breaker and an electric hot motor smell in any case enough about that let's see this mug run and it does run ooh that bearing clatter does not sound at all impressive but any fan made nowadays will not be running at all when it's half as old as this thing is with the three blade cast aluminum airfoil backward incline design on a ring frame fan very remarkably simple and straight to the point design with the unique motor brackets ingeniously remarkably eloquently practical layout of its components runs brilliantly. You can hear every blade passing by. Such ingenious aerodynamic craftsmanship. And oh, I said I'd never do that because it was highly dangerous. Okay, I'm going to have this video done in under three minutes. Name this fan because there's no identifying markings on it. But I guess they figured they did such a good job on it, and they did, that they didn't need to. I have seen this model of blade at the Antique Fan Museum in Zionsville, Indiana. I recommend you go there. They got a collection of fans that's even better than mine, and they have a very impressive, elegant place to show them, which I don't have. But I do have a new color of tacky backdrop up today with a psychedelic wrinkle pattern from it being balled up and stuffed in my linen closet yes indeed okay yeah contraband fan out in just over three minutes do tell me what this fan uh make and model is because i don't know I, I count on you guys for that contraband fan out talk to you soon promise